I think a lot of people are of the opinion that tech YouTubers get basically everything they want for free. Now, while I won't lie and say that I don't get anything sent to me, I think it might surprise some of my viewers how many of the products that I feature here actually do have to be purchased. That's why when I was fortunate enough to win a raffle while at CES earlier this month, I was pretty giddy. Not only do I basically never win anything, but in my life, I've actually never been the recipient of a prize as cool as what I'm about to show you. The new Darkbase 700 from Be Quiet features a spacious interior with room for up to EATX motherboards, built-in PWM fan hub, and legendary Be Quiet build quality with included Silent Wings fans. Take advantage of its full modularity by removing or adding panels or even completely inverting the motherboard tray. Thanks to its LED accent trim that you can configure through any RGB header, it'll look great no matter how you build. Check out the link in the video description to learn more. Every year Zotac throws an invite-only party at their CES suite. This year it was over at Caesars in their multi-level villa, and although it was maybe a little more cramped in there this year than in 2017, it's still an event that many people in the industry look forward to. Maybe the coolest part of the night is that Zotac takes everybody's business card as they walk through the door, and then randomly draws a bunch of names to win prizes donated by companies like Cooler Master, HyperX, Fractal Design, and Zotac themselves. Now, while it's definitely true that at least some of the people in that suite don't necessarily need these prizes, a lot of people actually can use them, and it's not like everybody has everything that's being given away. It's pretty cool actually to see how excited everybody is as the names are getting drawn. This time around, there were about 25 prizes being given out, and as per my expectations, I did not win any of the first 24 of them. I had basically tuned out the announcements, assuming that it just wasn't in the cards for me to walk out of there with something cool tucked under my arm when they announced Brian Stroh from BPS Customs as the winner of the 25th and final prize of the night. What did I win? The Zotac Z-Box MI553. If you guys watched my Zotac CES video, or if you're familiar with Zotac as a brand, you know that they are really pushing these all-in-one mini barebone systems right now. They have many different SKUs available, all the way from workstation quadro boxes to gaming boxes with GTX 1080s in them to PCs the size of an SSD that run full Windows 10. The MI553 falls somewhere in the middle of that range. Let's take a quick look at the exterior. This is Zotac's new approach to cooling on these mini PCs, and they call it a chimney. It allows airflow from any direction and is used in combination with the single turbine style fan on the interior, which we'll see shortly. There is also full width venting perforations on both the left and right sides, which not only serves to promote cross chassis airflow, but also keeps the visual appeal of this unit intact. There's nothing gaudy or extravagant about the appearance of the Z-Box, but the matte finish exterior and tasteful Zotac logo do make for a nice desk piece. The front has one USB-C port along with an SD card reader and a headphone and mic jack. The circular Zotac logo lights up white when the unit is powered on. Around back, there's a really interesting IO selection starting with a Thunderbolt 3 port on the left side next to the power plug. This is key for allowing the Z-Box to interface with external graphics enclosures should you decide you want to bump up your gaming horsepower. There's also full-size HDMI and DisplayPort options if you just want to plug straight into a traditional monitor. Four USB 3.0 ports are positioned around a gigabit ethernet connection, and then a single antenna for the onboard AC Wi-Fi is all the way off to the right. Now the Z-Box MI553 is considered bare bones, which means that it doesn't come with memory or storage. So in order to get us up and running, we're gonna have to crack her open, see what her guts look like, and perform some really simple installs of our G-Skill SODIMS and M.2 SSD. So here's the interior layout after we've gotten everything set up and ready to go. Even though this is such a tiny machine, everything is actually really easy to access, and I had no problem working inside the case. This is what Zotac was hoping for with this design, and even those with minimal experience shouldn't be intimidated that you're required to install your own components. 
The processor concealed underneath the cooling solution is the i5-7300HQ, which has four cores and threads and boosts up to 3.5 gigahertz. I would imagine that the MI553 will be updated to Coffee Lake mobile processors in the near future when those chips are available. The 7300HQ supports Intel's HD630i GPU and can output up to three displays at once, meaning that this would be great for someone's home productivity setup with spreadsheets flying everywhere. Why don't we hook this thing up to a monitor and run a few pretty simple benchmarking tests to see what it's made of. The MI553 isn't the most powerful machine for render tasks. It's not the best for gaming. It's probably not even the best for video playback, as it maxes out at 4K. But it's simple, clean, elegant, and requires absolutely minimal upkeep. It's powered by a decent quad-core processor that can easily handle everyday tasks without breaking a sweat. Mini PCs clearly aren't for everyone, but with Zotac's huge range of configurations, if you need a computer and space is at an extreme premium, they likely have something that will work for you. The best part about this little guy here, I want it. So that's gonna make my first mini PC a little more special. Thanks for watching guys, hit that subscribe button if you're new here, and I'll see you in the next video.